Hello everyone, my name is Plasma Muffin, and welcome back to my Hypixel Skyblock tutorial series. This is episode 4, and in this episode I am going to be doing a bit of renovating on my island and showing off minions and explaining them. So let's get started. So first off, my inventory is very full, so I'm going to make a couple chests. And... I guess I'll just put them here for now. This is this is going to be a temporary storage solution. I'm not going to... This isn't going to be long term, hopefully. I am notoriously bad with storage in games like Minecraft and Terraria and stuff, but hopefully this will suffice. <clears throat> so, first thing I want to do is actually expand this bridge here because it is very tiny and I don't want to fall off. So let's start doing that. We have some skeletons here threatening us on the other side of the bridge. And our minion is whining at us. Ow. Come here. <coughs> Come here, Skelly. Come here. You can't just shoot me and then ignore me. Come on, this road. There we go. And they're not fighting each other. That sucks. Oh, well. Come here. Come here. Why are they not following me? Ooh, collection unlocked. Bone. That's nice. Is there anyone down here? Yes, there's a spoder. Get spoded. Alright, so. <clears throat> so I mentioned in the last video, or the one before that, that minions are... By... Minions are basically, uh, they're basically resource collectors. So this guy, the cobble minion. Oh, nice. Stone platform. What is that? Hang on. Create stone platform. Oh! Oh, cool. Excuse me. You just believed me. So minions are basically these little NPCs that will constantly collect resources for you. Also, they're slightly... They're slightly angled, which is very annoying. But this is a cobblestone mini. He will constantly generate cobblestone for me. And uh, the minions that you unlock, you unlock minions by um, getting tier 1 of any collection. So cobblestone collection, once you collect 50 cobblestone, you unlock cobblestone 1, and that allows you to craft cobblestone minions. So each minion is crafted with a bunch of the resources they generate and uh, a fitting tool like a pickaxe or, or a sword for mob minions, stuff like that. And you can upgrade them. Each upgrade costs more resources. And it's kind of like it, it's kind of like uh, resource generators in an idle game. So they'll actually generate resources even while you're offline. Oh yeah, so here's something that happens sometimes. Uh, so the names of skyblock items are slightly different from in vanilla. So it says oak wood common. That common does not appear in vanilla Minecraft, which is why I have two stacks of sticks. One stack has the common tag, one stack doesn't, and so they don't stack because they don't have the same data. To fix this, you just chuck them out of your inventory. Generally doesn't happen as much if you use the... Uh, Oh my goodness, why? Yeah, see, if you use the inventory crafting, it happens a lot more than if you actually use the crafting, the custom skyblock crafting menu. It's, like, the reasons are kind of complicated, but you get the idea. So, um, I'm going to actually build a little platform for my minions. Where do I want to put that? I can put it, like, right out here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build it out of wood, I guess. So, um, the way you, so you have, you start with a maximum of five minions, and each minion that you craft or upgrade will give you a new minion slot. Uh, let's see, I actually want to, oh, by the way, sorry for the fan in the background, that's going to be annoying. 
Uh, I don't know why it's being so loud. What? How do you make fences? I'm not used to playing in the new versions. There we go, that's fences. Let's craft all that. And we put that here to reduce my chances of dying from a fall. There we go. Alright, so minions will actually generate stuff while you're offline. So that guy, uh, when I collected the cobblestone minion, he had 64 cobblestone. Well, I, I have not been... I had just joined the island like two minutes ago. And, um, so all the stuff that he had generated there was not from, uh, was not from the, uh, from me being here. So, um, the speed of some menus is impacted if you're offline, so if you're not on your island. Some minions will be slower, some will be faster. Uh, figuring out which ones do what at what speed is kind of complicated, but you don't really have to worry about it at the beginning. So I think that's good enough. So let's go ahead and pick this guy up. And I'm going to fill that in because it'll bother me otherwise. Let's see. I just want to make this look a little bit neat. This is more effort already than I put into my main island. Uh, so let's see, um, where do I want him to be? So, um, I'm gonna have to put him up on a little platform because minions will actually generate blocks below them. So where do I want him to go? Put him, I can put him right there. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Boom, all right, one of five minions. And um, so the next tier requires I don't know how much cobblestone that is. Uh, you can actually, you don't have to pick them up. You can pick them up to craft them, or to upgrade them. But um, I'm actually, you don't actually do that most of the time, because there's a quick upgrade minion option, and that'll just, well, quick uh, quickly upgrade the minion. So, um, so now I've got him placed, he will start generating cobblestone, as you can see. Now, um, there's some upgrades you can do. You can put fuel in the minion's fuel slot, which will increase their speed. You can use things like coal or genetic lava buckets, or there's, there's a bunch of different fuels. Coal is the most common one, easiest to get. Uh, this one will, when your minion's inventory gets full, it will start selling the items that it picks up. Um, the alternative to that is just, it would just not pick up any more items because it can't fit them. But it will start selling them if you get that. Uh, they don't sell for the full price, but it's still better than not having it. And then there's upgrade slots. So uh, you could have, for ore minions, you can have like an automatic smelter. Oh, he's... I don't know why I only thought that he was going to generate blocks one block away from him. I kind of forgot how this works. It's been a little while since I've played. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so my pickaxe has auto smell on it, which means that every time I mine a, um, every time I mine a cobblestone block, it turns into normal stone, but I can just get the normal stone by placing those back. This location isn't perfect. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, if you put blocks in the way of where the minion wants to place them, then it can't place blocks there, and so it'll yell at you. It doesn't really make a difference, technically, because, um... Like, technically, you could, give, you could just give them one block. Like, right here, for example. I could cover all the places except for that block. Um, but the reason... Um, like, the reason for that is because they just place a block and then they mine it again. Like, right now he's just placing the blocks because he doesn't have all the blocks placed yet. But eventually that will be the case. Uh, there's actually a little trick you can do to speed up cobblestone minions. And... Go ahead and show that in a minute. Uh, let's see, can I do it right now? No, I don't think I can. Alright, so... What I'm going to do now is try and get some... 
other minions unlocked. Why am I so slow? There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and get some wood, because one, I need wood, and two, uh, I want to craft wood minions. So I want to craft, I want to get five different minions for this video. I probably should have gotten the resources. Thanks for sharing, Drake. Probably should have got the resources off camera, but at this point in the game, there's so much to do that I I want to do it all on camera so you don't miss anything, because um, it's a lot more fun that way. I don't just want to say I did some mining off camera and then skip to me having everything I need. See? Right there. I just leveled up oak leaves. With satisfying ding. That's content. This is not the best way to mine wood, by the way. There's those big logs over there that are actually way better. I'm going to go do that, in fact. Just finish collecting this. A foraging 4. 16% chance to get double logs and access to Savannah Woodland. That's a new place that we are not going to be worrying about right now. Oh, and 200 coins. <clears throat> That's nice. Not much, but it's, it's something. Alright, so now that I have this... Uh, I think that should be enough wood. Now I want more cobble. Cobblestone. And there's a couple other things I want. Still haven't talked to all the villagers. That's very low priority. The only thing they'll accomplish is getting the game to stop yelling at me. Oh yeah, and I can do some enchanting now, can't I? Because I have 30 levels. Oh, that's sweet. That's good. In fact, do I want to do that now, actually? That might not be a bad idea. Let's see. I forgot how much I needed. Let's see, you need... Let me look at the recipe. So if you go to collection in your skyblock menu, the little painting, then click on crafted minions, you can look at the upgrades for each minion. Let's see, 40, 60, 80, 100. I think I have enough. I'm just going to mine a little bit more just in case. Alright, that should be fine. Hopefully... Hopefully they'll be enough. Of course I get in the chatty lobby when I'm recording. Um, oh wow, this isn't even a mega. Let's see. Oh yeah, enchantments. So, let's see. Which do I want to enchant first? Tool or weapon? Don't want to do my armor just yet. Uh, you get extra speed with efficiency. 10 XP levels just for efficiency 1? Wow, that's a lot. Um, I don't know. Actually, for now, I'm just going to hold off on that. Let's go back to the island. And there's actually something I want to show you, the trade menu. Click on the emerald, you can trade things. And each of these trades is unlocked somewhere. Um, I assume this coal trade is unlocked by mining coal. So I can trade oak wood for coal. Uh, there's some things that you can just buy for coins. I can turn dirt into grass. A lot of cool stuff you can do. But for now, I'm focused on minions. So let's see. 40, 47? What? Ah! Don't throw that! Okay. So... I think I can craft a new minion. I can almost certainly craft a lapis minion. So let's get all of my some most some of my resources out and see what kind of minions we can craft. So I'm gonna need a wooden axe for the oak minion. Oh, I don't have enough, dang it. Alright, well, just to speed this up while I'm on camera, I'm gonna go ahead and Take out all the coins from my bank. And I'm going to buy the... I'm going to buy the wood. Yes, buy and sell wooden act. I know how this works. Okay. 320 coins. Maybe I shouldn't have bought quite so much. 
Um, let's see, what else do I want? Let's see, oak wood, cobblestone, what else? Oh, iron maybe? Holy cow, someone's blowing stuff up. <laughs> I have no clue what item that is. There's so many items that do strange things, I don't even, can't even keep track. Let's see, buy some iron, should be enough for a minion. And we can get some coal. There we go. That should be enough to make a couple minions. Alright. Oh, and I'm going to need torches too. But first, let's craft the oak minion. So you put, ugh, I've already messed up. So you just put a wooden axe in the middle, surround it with oak wood, and you get an oak minion. Tier 1 oak minion, that's a new one. Craft three more unique minions to unlock your sixth minion slot. So the way that works is every minion is considered a unique minion and also every tier of that minion. So um, you can upgrade cobblestone minions all the way up to tier 11. So that counts as 11 total unique minions. But you have to manually craft each of them. You can't just like get them from... Uh, you can't get them from... Um, uh, like if trading with other players and stuff that won't that'll give you the minion but not the unique minion so let's place this oak minion down uh, oh yeah you have to actually place this guy on dirt or he will not be happy take some of this might have been able to add telekinesis to this shovel but Whatever. I can fine tune my tools a little bit later. So you kind of want a bit of a enlarged area for these guys. Excuse me, where'd you come from? I actually don't want him to go off the edge because I want his drops. I didn't get anything cool. Thank you, high pixel. All right. That should be big enough. Let's put him down here. What? How is it not perfect? What's the problem? Oh, there's a flower in the way. All right, so he will start to generate trees. See, he placed a sapling. It will grow very soon. So that's two out of, yep, see? Grows into this tiny little tree that he will then cut down eventually. So that's two out of five minions. Let's get some more. Make some wooden pickaxes. Three should be good, right? So now I can make a lapis minion, looks like, right? Please tell me I can make a lapis minion. I have so much lapis, there we go. Lapis minion one, excellent. Craft two more unique minions so unlock your six minions. So I don't need this actually, why is this here? No, the wood! I'm poor now, no. Tragedy. Well. Yeah, that's why you want telekinesis. It's very helpful. Oh, witch. Yes, they can drop stuff. I did not get anything. Cool. You can actually get glowstone from witches. So theoretically, you could unlock the... You get like a glowstone minion just from killing witches, but... I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see. So now... Place this guy right here, next to the cobble minion. Just for consistency, we're going to make them all stand on stone for now. Uh, now this is where our compactor will come in handy. I got this from the lapis miner in the last episode. If I put this here, then instead of, uh, once he generates nine pieces of lapis lazuli, he will turn them into a block of lapis lazuli. So, that'll speed things up. Um, I need 360 more lapis for the next tier. Wow, that's a lot of lapis. It won't be too hard to get, like, manually, but right now it's a bit much. 26 more cobblestone. Oh, that's not bad. Now, here's a trick. You can actually, if you mine the blocks that your minion makes, because, see, he has a uh, time between actions, 14 seconds. So, every 14 seconds, he will either mine a block or place a block. If there's 
If all the blocks are there, he will mine one. If there aren't any blocks there, he will pla place. Or no. Okay, if all the blocks are placed, then he will mine a block. If there's a... Uh, if there's a hole, a spot that he, where there aren't any blocks, then he will place it. And... Um, so he's only generating a block every two actions. So every 28 seconds. But uh, if you mine the blocks yourself, then all he will have to do is place them. So you get... Technically, you get double uh, resources from him. And there's, that also leads me to this little trick you can do with cobblestone minions. One more cobblestone. Alright, there we go. Tier 2 cobblestone minion. One more unique minion to up unlock the next minion slot. That's excellent. So, let's see here. I'm going to use dirt. Because I want to do this I want to do this little trick. I'm going to need more dirt. Huh. Let's go get more dirt. Um, I don't want to tear up my island. Actually, I think there's... Is there dirt in the chat? Uh, hmm. This is harder than it looks. Okay, let's go buy dirt. Where is the dirt merchant? Hello, do you sell dirt? That's cool. Do you sell dirt? Dirt! Can I buy dirt? I believe you can buy dirt over here. Alright, so over here, there is the builder merchant. You need to kill them all. That is interesting out of context. Uh, rocks and bricks. There we go. Dirt. Let's buy 64 dirt. Alright. So now, I'm going to surround this guy with dirt. He will hate it, but it's important. I'm going to use my wood pickaxe because it doesn't have smelting on it. And smelting is weird with these guys. Ideally, I would have... I, I wouldn't need smelting on my pickaxe, but for the time being, we're going to keep it. And I'm going to need to sacrifice some wood blocks. Let's see. So, um, I mentioned this in the first episode. I mentioned this little hidey hole down here that has some stuff. I actually want to take the water and lava from it. Because there's a little trick you can do with cobblestone minions to double their speed. And they already have a pretty low speed, too. This is... Tier 1, it's 29 seconds. Tier 1 of this guy was like, yeah, 14 seconds. So, cobble minions are a lot faster than other minions. So what I want to do is, I want to place water here, I think. And then, oh boy, it's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to do something a bit risky here. There we go. I managed to teleport out before I fell into the void. That's fun. Alright. What? Perfect. There we go. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making a cobblestone generator on the minion platform. Now this shouldn't set anything on fire because the lava is all blocked off. And the um, for lava to set stuff on fire there needs to be an air block that can turn into fire if you just have a lava block totally encased by wood it shouldn't set them on fire um, so now as you can see he is uh, he is constantly mining this cobblestone and as soon as he mines it it gets placed right back Actually, I think this is backwards. Well, like, there isn't really a backwards for this. But. Um, let's see. Let's put 
with the lava here this time. Okay, yeah, no. Can you stop placing blocks for a second? I need to do a thing. There we go. So, if you could place this here, the block there. And then, There we go, perfect. So now he's going to, um, the only place he can see to place blocks is right in front of him, because that's cobblestone. The rest of this is filled with dirt. That's why he's saying the location isn't perfect. Of course, the thing is, it's actually better than what he would consider perfect, because now it's gonna automatically place this block every time, so all he has to do is pick them up. So it's actually a lot better for him than the alternative. So that is a maximum efficiency cobble minion, or well, it will be once we get all the upgrades and stuff, which will take a very long time. So let's see, three minions. I got the trees. I don't need this tree, actually. I think that was a sapling I placed. There's no dirt minion, by the way. I've always thought that was a bit weird. All right, let's see if we can make a coal minion. Do we have enough coal? Hopefully. Yay, coal minion. You've now unlocked your sixth minion slot. Cool. I got a A achievement. Yay. Turn this into stone for consistency. Yeah, that perfectly fits. Excellent. Alright, so now the coal that this guy generates can be used to speed up our minions. Let's actually do that. Um, I'm going to do that a little later, actually. First, I want to get one more minion. Uh, well, I'd like to get one more minion anyway. I don't know if I have the resources for that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've only got four minions right now. Eh. Alright, well, that's not... I'll, I'll just... So basically, how this works is, if you put a piece of coal in the... If you put a piece of coal in the um, fuel slot, it'll increase your speed, the speed of the minion, by 5% for 30 minutes. So I'm going to put one in all of these. Free wood. Awesome. And let's see here. Actually, I have enough to give all of them a bunch. Now here's the thing about fuel. You can't take it out once you put it in. And you can't put in... If you put in a, a different kind of fuel... Like I'm putting coal on top of coal, which stacks. But if I were to put, say, enchanted charcoal or something in there on top of the coal, it would replace the coal instead of stacking on top of it. Which is dumb, but it's how that works. So now my minions are all 5% faster for 5 hours. So that's pretty excellent. That will definitely help. And you can also cut down the trees that this guy creates to make him generate them faster. Theoretically, you could, like, use fire to burn them, but then you wouldn't get the drops. Unless you put hoppers. I don't know if that would work. Anyway, point is, um... Ah! Okay, so I fell into the void... <laughs> I fell into the void there. Just walked right off the edge. I'm a genius. And... Uh, if you fall into the void on your own island, you don't actually lose anything, but I think it does count as a death. You can actually, I think, do death count? Yes, one death. That was falling into the void on my own island, because I'm silly. But, um, normally when you die, you will lose half of your coins. Like, they'll just vaporize, but putting them in the bank will actually prevent that from happening. So, let's see. Got a pretty nice little minion set up here. Oh, hi, seeds. Oh, I can make a wheat minion. All right, I'm going to do that real quick before I end off the episode. Oh, no, it's mega. We have a YouTuber I've never heard of here. That's cool. Quitting Skyblock and giving away 47 million coins. Do slash co-op ad. Don't do that. Adding someone to your co-op basically gives allows them to do whatever they want on your island. 
So they can take all your money from the bank, they can loot all your chests, they can do absolutely everything, anything they want there. Ooh, excellent. Level up my seeds to four and my farm to four. Okay, I'm going to have to leave. This is not going to work. Basically, some people will tell you to add them to your, to your, to your co-op. Oh, I have not been here before. <laughs> well, we will explore that a little more later. For now. Oh, why are they, why do I keep getting mega lobbies? That's annoying. Um, but yeah, if you add them to your co-op, then they'll be allowed, they can do anything they want on your island. So usually, so some people will tell you to add them to your co-op, and they'll give you stuff. What happens is, uh, you add them to your co-op, and then they will just steal all of your stuff and leave. So don't do that. Even if you're with someone you, that like you trust, co-ops actually aren't very good because you have the same amount of minion slots for two people. It's generally better just to have two separate islands for each person if you want to play together with someone. So yeah, it's really not worth it doing co-op. Alright, is that enough? I think that should be enough. So let's go ahead and make a hoe. Wooden hoe, and then surround that with wheat, and that should give us wheat minion. Excellent. Graph nine more unique minions to unlock your seventh minion slot. So, uh, I'm gonna have to put him here because he needs dirt, as you might expect. Just fill this all in. And this guy I can actually just place directly on the ground because he just tills the ground. But these guys, they have to be a block upwards, otherwise their blocks would replace the floor. Actually, they wouldn't do anything because they can't replace wood. But some people just have their minions floating over the void. So, like, if there's a hole here, then you can just drop right through. I don't know why they do that. It's just a little stressful. Long time no see. You are staring at nothing there, bud. This guy, you can just place him here, and he will start growing uh, this stuff. Wheat, that's what it's called. I know how to speak. Now, there's also a thing you can craft with wood. I don't know if I have enough. I don't think I have enough. Let's go ahead and cut down some trees and see if we can get one of those. And then I'll end off the episode because this is getting a little long. Alright. Do I have enough? No, I don't have enough. Well, there's this thing you can make called a minion storage. I don't even know if I have the recipe for it unlocked. Maybe that's why I can't craft it. Recipe book. Foraging recipes. Uh, no, I need to go to the collection. Oak wood. Yeah, small storage recipe. So, to craft this, you just need 64 oak wood placed in a square. Gives you a small storage that you can place next to minions. That will slightly increase their storage, but I don't actually have that unlocked because I have not collected enough wood yet. So, um, I'm actually considering doing some resource collection offline, just like collecting all the, uh, getting all the collections unlocked and stuff, just to speed things up. Let me know what you think about that, because I'm not sure if I want to do that. Let me know if you want to see me collect wood and cobblestone like I did in this episode or if you just want me to get it off camera but uh, yeah so that's that's basically minions and how they work and stuff you can do with them and oh I can actually go ahead and give him some fuel give him the same as I gave all the others there we go uh, all right so that's nice. So now these guys will generate mi or generate minions. Yes, they will generate items for me offline. So I think that's enough for this episode. Next episode, I'm probably going to do some exploring, show off all the different islands and uh, the resources you can get there. And I might do some collection. 
please let me know it, what you want me to do in the comments. Do you, let me know if you want me to get collections on camera or off camera or what. Because um, if I get it on camera, that's going to make the episode longer. All I'm going to show is me mining stuff like the stuff I put in the time lapse in the last episode. Um, but I, I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. So please let me know. Also, please let me know if there's anything else. Uh, any other kind of feedback or thoughts you have on this series? Mm. Excuse me. Please let me know if you have any uh, complaints or questions or anything about Skyblock or honestly, any, pretty much anything. I read all the comments. I don't always reply to them. Sometimes I can't think of a reply or, or I'm not sure what the comment means or something like that, but I always read the comments. So if you have any feedback of any kind, positive or negative, good or bad, then I will be more than happy to hear it. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good day. Bye-bye.